Man United need major signings in the January transfer window. And if Solskjaer got the players that he wanted, who would United sign? In this video, I'm going to run through Solskjaer and United's transfer plans for the upcoming January transfer window and discuss whether it's likely that this might be another frustrating window for United fans or whether maybe we'll sign some of the players that we all want to sign. Make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to United People's TV. But let's discuss January. Now, before we talk about the January transfer window, I want to draw on the partisan game. It, there were some real positives to take from that game and Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic has covered them in an excellent analysis in his column on the partisan game, looking at the three goals we scored, the attacking fluidity, but also at the fragilities of this United team. If you haven't read it or you can't read it, there's a link in the description. You can get a 30-day free trial with The Athletic, with United People's TV and 50% off an annual subscription. It's a world-class team of writers, including Laurie, the likes of David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor and Andy Mitten. It's a fantastic platform. No ads, just great content. The best coverage of United, written by a top draw set of writers. So if you haven't Join The Athletic, there's a link in the description, you can get a 30 day free trial to read Laurie's analysis of the Partizan game and there's plenty more United content on there. So I would encourage you to go over and use the link in the description to get a 30 day free trial. But let's talk about January, as I said. Solskjaer was asked directly about the January transfer window in a press conference this week and this is what he had to say. Transfers, we always look at uh, the long term, uh, look at players, it might be uh might be none, might be one, might be two in in January, but uh, it's it's always the summer window. That's the the big ones, and you can't really do too many uh, good deals in in January. Now, there's two ways you can look at that quote. Number one, Solskjaer's getting his excuses in very early for another poor window from United, and that might be the case. But if United were planning to do something, I would expect Solskjaer to say the exact. Same thing. If United weren't planning on doing anything, I'd expect Solskjaer to say exactly the same thing. So it's a sort of lose-lose situation here for Solskjaer in terms of what the manager says. But every United fan knows that this January, we genuinely need a big signing. A creative force that can help bridge the gap in this team. The player that we should have signed in the summer was Bruno Fernandes. Linked with him for a long, long time. Nothing ever materialised. And he's out there scoring and getting assists with Sporting Lisbon left, right and centre while we're playing Jesse Lingard and an old Juan Mata in the number 10 role. It's clear that's the position that United messed up most in the summer in terms of not bringing a player in and the area where Solskjaer wants to strengthen in January if he can get what he wants. Because that new number 10 is basically what this attack is missing. The likes of James, Greenwood, Rashford and Martial, they've got so much talent, but you need somebody there to unlock them with passes. And James Madison is probably going to be the top of everybody's wish list. He's about to turn 23 in November and he's continued on his excellent form last season and he's part of a wonderful looking Leicester team. Madison will cost a hell, I don't know, how much do you think Madison would cost? Let me know in the comments. But for me, he would be number one on that list. In the summer, it was Bruno Fernandes. But for me now, from watching a lot more of Madison and just seeing him grow as an individual and a player in a team and being the heart of that team, he'd be my choice. And he's got set pieces to boot as well. Number 10, it's just needed in January. But the question is, could we get Madison, which I'll go into discuss later on, but it will be very, very hard to lure him away from Leicester both from the idea that why would he want to leave Leicester and why would Leicester sell? But if number 10 is an important position, and it definitely is, for me it's a priority in January, a creative force to drop in a team which has got zero creativity at the moment. Right wing. That's clearly the other area in attack where United could do with strengthening. Now you could say the same thing about central midfield, and I would agree with you. But looking at these, I think Solskjaer is prioritising some creative attacking forces. That's why I'm saying number 10 and the right wing. And Jaden Sancho is obviously the number one on that list on the right wing. But there's probably more chance of Roy Keane lacing up his boots and dropping into midfield again than there is of Jaden Sancho joining United in January. 
leaving Champions League football and Borussia Dortmund for Europa League football and United at the moment. He just wouldn't do it. And I think the same thing could probably be said about James Madison. I say I think the same thing could be said about James Madison. Both of them, on paper to me, look completely unattainable in the January transfer window. Because as much of a cliche as it is, it's really hard to make major signings in January. Something I did was ask you guys on Twitter to name me some examples of signings that United made in January, of top class players that didn't want to leave their clubs. Not the likes of Vidic and Evra who came to United but grew into the world class players they were, or Juan Mata who Chelsea just wanted to offload. I wanted to find out were there any examples of signings that United had made in January where the clubs didn't want to sell their player. Louis Saha was a name that came up quite a lot and Chris Coleman said only a few weeks before we signed him that he would leave Fulham over his dead body. He did leave Fulham. And then he got Andy Cole back in the day as well with Keith Gillespie going in the other direction. That was a record signing. And he was a free scoring top level striker. But there's only a couple of examples you can really say of players that United have signed in January that were able to make an immediate impact in the starting 11 that the clubs didn't want to sell that we were able to complete the signings on. Now, the likes of Van Dijk joined Liverpool, I think Suarez as well. Matic went back to Chelsea. There are examples, but rarely have United done it. And at a time where United are playing like we're playing, I'm not sure why any players would want to come in mid-season. And that's the big question I want to ask you in this video. Madison and Sancho, for me, number 10 and right wing, first choices. But if they're not attainable, what should United and Solskjaer do? Should we wait until the summer, keep the same squad we've got? Or should we try and get someone in on the short term to give us an option and improve our squad, but not the actual top first choice that we wanted, almost settling for a different player? What do you think United should do? And I really want to hear from you in the comments here because you can see the positives of both. In the short term sense, we need improvements in this squad. So maybe going through January and getting no signings, can we really afford to do that? But on the other hand, why would we settle and try and get players that are of a lesser quality simply just to get bodies in? I don't think Solskjaer, I, I don't know. It, it's a catch-22 situation, really. We forced ourselves into this situation by not signing the right players in the summer. Now we need to strengthen in January. And those players are probably unattainable. And from Leicester's perspective, why would they let Madison go and dent their own top four hopes? Especially when Madison's probably going to be worth more in the summer. And why would A. Sancho want to leave Dortmund? And why would Dortmund sell Sancho to United mid-season? So many questions, not many answers. But I want to hear from you in the comments on this one. Because the January transfer window clearly is a time where United need to strengthen. We can all agree on that. But if we can't get our top choices, or who are your top choices? Maybe it's not Madison, maybe it's not Sancho. Let me know that in the comments too. But if United can't really get their main men, is it a case of just sign somebody? Or is it a case of waiting until the summer and trying to get our main top targets, like we did with Maguire, with Wan-Bissaka, and I suppose James to an extent, in terms of what he was? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But United, our squad is thin. Creativity, almost at a zero. Can we really afford to not sign somebody in the January transfer window, even if it's not our top choice like Madison? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Solskjaer said maybe we can have one or two signings. I think he's just going to sort of par it off, really. Not really say much, not give too much away. Keep it close to his chest. And I'll tell you what, Fergie did that and it worked for him. Every manager's got their tactic with the media. Some might see it as another example of him being a Glazer sympathiser, X, Y, Z. But January's hard. History shows us that. But let me know who you would want United to sign in the January transfer window if everything goes to plan or if it doesn't, who is the alternative?